Greetings and we are delighted to be able to come to you today and continue our daily meditation, daily devotion in God's Word and a few moments of prayer. This week we are focusing on the subject that all of us uh, have to deal with and that is money. I want to bring our attention to this truth that while God is a God who blesses us materially and we can look to Him to bless us materially with riches and wealth and possessions. There's nothing wrong with that. Yet there are clear instructions He's given to us in His Word on how to handle these things. And so I want to bring our attention to one aspect of these instructions. We'll begin with Psalm 62 verse 10. The psalmist says, Do not trust in oppression nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Also in Psalm 30, verse 6, the psalmist said, Now in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. So the Bible tells us in these scriptures and in many other places, and we will probably mention a couple more, the Bible says that you know, when riches increase, when God prospers you, when your life, you know, has all of these nice things on earth, it's not bad, it's not something to be shunned, but as God blesses us, our heart must always remain stayed on God. Our attention must not shift from God to these things. So the psalmist says, you know, if riches increase, don't set your heart on those things. Keep your heart on the Lord. And in your prosperity, don't get moved. Don't get shaken. Thank God He's blessing you. Thank God He's prospering you. Stay rooted in Him. Stay focused on Him and whatever He's called you to do. You must also understand that, uh, as Jesus taught us, that we should not begin to measure our life by our riches. You know, and this is in Luke, the 12th chapter, when Jesus spoke about the story of the rich fool. He went on to say in verse 15, he said, Beware of covetousness, because a man's life does not consist of the abundance of things he possesses. In other words, don't become greedy. Protect your heart, because your life is not measured by how much you have. So while it's God who blesses us materially and He gives us things that we could use for our life here on earth, we shouldn't measure our life by those things. And the Apostle Paul made it very clear in 1 Timothy 6, he said, you know, uh, don't desire to be rich in the sense, don't pursue riches because he said, love of money itself is the root of all evil. So while God is the source of such blessing in our lives and He gives it to us as gift. He also calls us to be responsible, to guard our heart, to keep our heart fixed on Him, not to be shaken, not to measure our life by the possessions we have, and not to pursue possessions, but rather begin to use them properly for the sake of His kingdom, which we will talk about in the other days this week. So, God blesses us but He calls us to live responsibly. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You for all the wonderful blessings You bless us with. And we pray, God, that You will increase us, Your people, materially, financially, with wealth, with riches. As these things increase in our lives, help us to live responsibly, to use them well, and to keep our hearts set on you alone. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.